Hi everyone, welcome back to Enough is Enough. Today we're going to help you improve your performances on Rainbow Six Siege. To do this we're going to look at the layout and callout of the coastline map. All this coming right up. Hi everyone and welcome back to Enough is Enough. Today we're looking at the coastline map and we're going to have a look at the layout. So we find ourselves at La Perla Blanca which means the White Pearl which is a sort of hotel and resort. And we're going to get straight into it and we're going to head in through the main entrance into an area called Main Lobby. So obviously I'm going to shout out all the call outs for you. This is going to make communication easier with your team. Hopefully you can give some good call outs then and they're going to know where exactly you're talking about. So those stairs are called South Stairs. And then if we head into the small room off the side of main lobby, we've got a security room, which heads into sunroom and through to office. Now there's an external doorway here into office. Goes on to a little terrace area there, which is known as terrace, handily. And then if we're continuing a clockwise direction, we're going to head into blue bar. Again, very easily named, easy to remember with the colour of the walls. And then we head back into hallway and we have sunrise bar off to the left so a little bit bigger than blue bar and then we've got a small room through the back called pool entrance which has an external door there towards it's actually more towards the sort of ruins area but then you've got the pool round to the side as well so that's sunrise bar and we'll head back into main hallway which you can see down that way, that's the main lobby straight ahead of you. And you've also got the kitchen there. And then that leads her into service entrance, which there is another external door there. This one heads back out towards the front of the building. You can see that's the main entrance that we just came in from at the beginning of the guide. So back through service entrance, we've got the last room downstairs, which is toilets. And then we're back into main lobby now. That's the, the hallway off to the right there that you can see. And we've also got the small courtyard area. So that's somewhere you can rappel down through. So I just want to have a look down that hallway for you. Just because it's a good sort of footfall area. And it leads to north stairs. So you've got south stairs in the main lobby. And north stairs at the other end of the building. And on both floors there's a hallway that connects them both. So if we head upstairs now onto the second floor. This is the... The hallway that I was saying, sort of upstairs hallway, upper hallway if you will. And then that uh, area there is called South Hallway. And that leads us into Aquarium. So again, we're just going to head around in a clockwise direction. It's quite an easy building to do that with. They are sort of structured in a circle really. So we've got Aquarium, leads through to Billiards Room. And then that's going to bring us back into the hallway. That we've just seen and that's north stairs ahead of us and hooker lounge on the left so this is hooker lounge and there is sort of a, a raised terrace outside as well with some stairs down and that's hooker lounge with billiard room on the right and north stairs on the left so continuing through the hallway we've got vip lounge on the left and then we can see through there to a small sort of almost a corridor transitional room really but it's called Hall of Fame noticeable with the guitars and things on there and then you've got the external area called DJ Booth and this is a good access point to both VIP and Hall of Fame which leads through into Penthouse which is a very popular location for defending and there's also bathroom that's got a, a hatch up on the ceiling as well and then the last room on this floor we have theatre, which is next door to Penthouse, and that leads us back into the hallway. So I'm just going to do a quick run of the, the hallway for you. So from south stairs, the hallway leads through with theatre on the right, continue on, VIP lounge on the right there, billiards room on the left, hooker lounge on the left, straight through to north stairs. So as I say, it's quite easy. There's two ways up and down from both floors um, and it's quite easy to transition between the two. So what we'll do now is have a look at the external entrances. So we've got the double door to main lobby there and then we've got a window upstairs which is to hallway 
and then heading through to what an area called South Promenade externally that window you can see it looks like a window but it's not accessible and then you've got one to security room one to south hallway and one to sunroom the double windows there so continuing up we'll jump over the wall and onto terrace we've got that double door into office and then if we go a little bit further back for the angle we can see we've got a double door there into aquarium heading around the building continuing clockwise we've got double window into billiards room a single window into blue bar and a single window into sunrise bar and then we will head round and see the stairs well we've got the the door there first to pool entrance and then we've got the stairs up to the hooker lounge entrance and sort of terrace area as i said and then we've got another window into hooker lounge just going to repel up here so this is sort of cantina and pool area and then as soon as you repel up you've got vip and hall of fame entrances from the dj booth area so this is cantina area and then you've got a kitchen window and if we continue around we've got the last two we've got a door into service entrance and a window into penthouse so that's it for the coastline map it's quite a colorful map it's uh, very airy you've got the sun out the blue sky a lot of difficulty sometimes looking out of the windows particularly due to the lighting on the game it can be very bright and difficult to see people at distance something people like hibana and glass can take real advantage of so be careful with that Obviously, we're going to have more videos coming. Uh, the usual fare will have uh, cameras, drones, external opportunities and objective rooms. So they're going to be coming within the next couple of days, uh, as soon as we can do, really. As always, we'd love you to hit like and subscribe. We really appreciate all the support we've had so far, and that's going to keep you up to date with everything that we've got going on. If you've got any comments about the map, any suggestions, any tips, you know, any ways you like to maybe remember different areas or passages or, you know, approaches, then shout them down in the comments below and everybody can benefit. Otherwise, we'll get on with what we're doing, get a few more maps done for you. And again, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.